Okay, game timers, this is it. We shot through the 80s in part one, 90s part two, late 90s, early 2000s part three, and finally late 2000s on to modern times in this fourth and final installment of the catalog videos. Uh, I can see Atari, we've done uh, Intellivision, we've done Genesis, NES, PSP, DS, all that fun stuff, GameCube. Here we go, one last time. Welcome to PlayStation. This is just a very thin little thing, but when PS3 was new, so they still have the original model, Slim PS2, and back when the PSP was a big hit. I still love the PSP. I, I don't know what to say. It's, it's a fantastic system. 169 for the core pack. How about that? It looks like the PSP 3000 model, which I, I did get as well as the very original model, so a couple good PSP games there, as you can see. Some accessories you can get for it. The uh, AV cable, I did have that for a brief time. Uh, fun, no, in case anyone's interested. doesn't actually blow the screen up to the full uh, size of your TV. It has just kind of a, a small rectangle on the TV. So it wasn't even wasn't even full screen on the television. So if you want to play your PSP on the TV, I you know go check out uh, Jared, Retro Re Revolutions, his channel. He does consoleized PSPs, and they are fan-freaking-tastic. The guy's a genius. PS3, got their old Spider-Man logo there. Kind of shows uh, comparison PS3 versus the 360 arcade unit. That's kind of a, a weird comparison. <laughs> and uh, just the Wii there. And some PS3 accessories. The uh, I always love the uh, media remotes with the PlayStations. There's the original I. And still advertising PS2. Fantastic system. CD, DVD player built right in. Some greatest hits, controllers, and memory cards for those. Gran Turismo 4. Still a really good looking game. I put that in not too long ago. Gran Turismo 4 on PS2. And that game holds up pretty well. Like, dang. It still, still looks pretty good. Here's a catalog for the good old Nintendo. This is 09-2010. Uh, it's a pretty thick one. we got a couple more things to look at. So I'm just going to go shoot through this real quick. We're, we're going to skip a couple pages. But at least take a look at the first few things there. DS, DSi, so you got the light and the DSi model, just kind of added uh, some bigger screens and a camera to it. The camera was pretty uh, pretty crappy, I remember having that. So, <laughs> if you want to take some good quality pictures, uh, no need to get the DSi. You can look elsewhere for that. More on Luigi, fantastic uh, games. I actually just finished Superstar Saga. I, there's five of them in the main series, and I do have all five, so probably going to move on to Partners in Time next. Some scribble knots. There's a family sitting around playing their DS's. Always wish I had that. There's some Pokemon. There's Platinum. Uh, fourth gen? Question mark? I think it was. Starfree. Actually, fun platformers. Uh, Starfree is very underrated. Uh, some fashion games. More people sitting around on their DS's. Legends of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Unpopular opinion here. I don't like the DS Zelda games. Spirit Tracks and uh, the Wind Waker sequel just used touch controls only, and it wasn't very good. Hot take. Oh, I got some uh, stickers there. Apparently, you can put uh, peel off these stickers and put them throughout the book. Want it? Want it? Want it? And want it. So, oh no, there's some need it and love it. And Mario. Hey, there's uh, Wii. What's this? I don't even remember what this is about. Oh, kind of a fold out thing. So, we got Wii stuff and DS stuff. Cool. Circle the games you want. Yeah. And some Wii accessories there. Wii Motes, Nunchucks, Wii Zapper, Bounce Board, We Speak. I'm not... Anything use We Speak? Hmm. Ah, the classic eShop. I love that Wii eShop, too. That had, like, arcade games. It had Genesis. It had Master System games on there. It had Turbo Graphics games on there. It was fantastic. I would have loved to see that continue. Lego Indiana Jones, actually pretty, pretty good stuff. Punch-Out... Metroid Prime Trilogy. Do, do, do. I love Nintendo. They just they love their Metroid Prime games and Metroid series so much. They just just make them in all these catalogs. Every single year we get to see good Metroid games. All right, let's bump up to the Wii U. I actually like that uh, thing quite a bit there. 
a few pages there. This probably can shoot through this here pretty quickly. What is the Wii U? It's a fantastic, very underrated system that uh, a lot of people just didn't uh, didn't get into. And they missed out. I have the Wii U. I actually have two Wii U's. Only one gamepad though, and uh, I still play it. It's fantastic. I know PK from PK. Well, he's what channel is he on now? PK in the universe. He's a big uh, Wii U guy. So check him out on Twitter. I think it's PK in the universe. PK does a lot of great videos, kind of similar to mine, just kind of sitting talking in front of a camera for a few minutes. I know he's a big Wii U guy, so always uh, enjoy interacting with him on Twitter. Lego City Undercover, actually very, very good uh, GTA type game, uh, open world Lego style. And uh, I think the best version of Need for Speed Most Wanted is on the Wii U. And it even says uh, the definitive Most Wanted experience right there. If the camera would focus. I agree. I think that uh, that is a one of the best Wii U games, quite honestly. I normally don't say that about racing games a whole lot. But uh, it is good. Injustice. actually have that on Wii U as well. Pretty fun. Disney Infinity. I do have like the 2.0 or whatever it is. Just with the uh, when they introduced the Marvel characters. Because I love me some Iron Man. Assassin's Creed 3 and Zombie U. Zombie U fan, fun game as well. Also available good games there. Arkham City is kind of fun. Here's a comparison between Wii U and the Wii. Basically uh, all the stuff on the Wii U is just exclusive to the Wii U. So. And there you go. Deluxe set. I believe that's what I got. Mine came with uh, Mario 3D World as well as Nintendo Land. And basic set. Pretty neat though. I don't see the white version a whole lot to tell you the truth. And some frequently asked questions. How will you play? How you will play next? Awesome. Best place to play. And then we're getting into PS4. This is, uh, I don't know if I don't necessarily grab this. It's kind of just advertising some PS4 stuff. It's not necessarily a catalog, I would say. But uh, pretty neat. I think this was the same type of deal. Yep. That PS4, that was a huge hit for Sony. They just blasted out of the gates when it. PS4 came out and just never really stopped, quite honestly. Here's an Xbox catalog, and second to last, we'll shoot through this pretty quick. I have a couple of these. So, uh, Muddy Q-Dog, Musty, for watching, uh, I can definitely send you one of these. Nothing special, just some uh, Xbox goodness there. They're just 1X, the 4K one. 1S also does 4K, but I'm not sure 1X kind of does a lot more with their stuff. I do have the 1S model now, as well as the big fat original model. Game Pass. Some Gears 5. I never really heard about that after it came out. Ori and Will of the Wisp. Fantastic. It's a beautiful game. Freaking awesome. Minecraft Dungeons. Very uh, Diablo-esque, but in the Minecraft world. So I got the Elite controllers, some of their other ones. I do like uh, Xbox's customizable controllers. I think they did a pretty good job being able to go online and kind of make your own controllers there. And there's that, Cyberpunk. Have yet to see that game. And we'll finish off with some Nintendo. Nintendo Switch Holiday Set. Mind you, I should say this uh, Microsoft, I'm not sure, it was... It had to be 2019 for this catalog. And uh, this Nintendo Switch one, it doesn't quite say a year. 2018. 2018 Nintendo. I should, probably should have shown this one first. My my mistake on there. Got the Joy-Cons you can get. Holiday. So it's a holiday catalog. Must have. So a lot of their first party stuff front and center. So all the big games from 20. 18 on down. I have a feeling we might see a couple uh, games coming out in 2019 there. Everyone enjoying your Switches. All happy. Great games. You can scan some barcodes. Check those games out. Highly recommend Rocket League. Celeste is a fantastic game. Mega Man 11. A lot of people love uh, Hollow Knight and Dead Cells. There's that Okami HD. That's a fantastic game. Oh, and Sonic Mania. Probably the best Sonic uh, 2D Sonic game since mm -hmm. Sonic and Knuckles. Yeah, Fortnite, playing Fallout, yeah, yuck them both of those. There's Smash Brothers. Yeah, it must have been just when that game was coming out. So, still a fantastic game. That does it. That's all four parts. 
thanks everybody for watching liking subscribing all the above and uh leave a comment checking out or leaving a comment on one of your favorite catalogs or game memories of the past old games that we should check out all that fun stuff or just say hi shout out your channel it's all good we'll see everybody in the next video take care happy gaming etc